Good night, class. How are you? <laughs> How are you guys? Hi. Hi, Amilcar. Hi, Olga. Hi, Ronald. Hi, hello. How hello. are you? Pretty good. I was waiting hello. for you. Hello, sir. How you been? Yes, so far you good? So far is good. Thanks for asking, teacher. That's amazing. Are you by any chance eating something, Ronald? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you say? Uh, are, uh, are you eating something right now? Like drinking a Coke? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, have some snack, by the way. Uh, I just no, wondering, no, no. right? <laughs> no, I, I am in the in, I am working. Oh, you're working. So yeah. uh, oh, okay, okay. I do understand. Oh, that, that's okay. Yeah. No problem. Oh, I'm so happy that even though you, you're still working, you're here in the class. So that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy. Okay, I thought you were like eating. I don't know, maybe, right? Yeah, it's because I remember <laughs> that you love to eat around this time. That's the reason why I was asking you about. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, if you can turn on the camera, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay as well. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Or you thanks. can turn it on when you, if you finish, you can turn it on. If you don't, that's okay. Whatever you feel comfortable, okay? Thanks. You're welcome, thank you. Hey, no, Emmy, hi, how are you? And also you have Anita Mercedes Navarrete Ochoa, that's great. Hey, did I pronounce your last name correctly, Anita Navarrete? Navarrete, yeah, it's good, okay, cool. Teacher, and where, why we cannot see your face? Maybe you yes. were wondering, right? Uh -huh. Yes, but Olga, uh -huh. I cannot see your face either. Aha, there you go. Okay, only Ronald is allowed because he's working. Okay, okay. Okay, let me turn it on the camera. Hey, how are you guys? Pretty good? In Paris, in oh, yeah. Paris. Yeah, you saw in Paris. Yeah, Paris France. Oh la la. Oh la la, oui. Bonjour, bonjour, mes amis. Hi. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci à vous. Très bien. Très bien. Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait aujourd'hui? Some words. <laughs> uh, Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait aujourd'hui? I... <laughs> <laughs> I have asked her what she has uh, done today. That's, that's what I asked her, guys. Qu'est-ce que vous avez fait aujourd'hui? Do you speak French, Olga? Some words. Some words. No. That's nice. No. That's just nice. Very good. That's great. Okay. Would you would you like to uh to practice with me? I'm here. Okay. Okay. That's good. <laughs> but it's it's very very poor. Poor. Oh, poor. Um. Uh, that your your knowledge is is, is a little bit. Yes. Ah. Okay. Okay. Because poor is like. Yes. Pobre? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> All right. That's yeah. okay. But that's nice. But, yeah, but you pronounce it really good. You said très bien. That's good. Excellent. Thanks. Uh -huh. Hey, guys, she doesn't want to say that she speaks French, right? Uh -huh. that, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We are going to teach them some French words, okay? Well, this is English class, it's not French, so I'm sorry. It's not, I will be more than glad. <laughs> do, you, do you love another languages besides English, guys? You do? Yeah? Or no? I know a little bit of Portuguese. Portuguese! But it's a little bit, yeah. I know. Well, I have, I have a, 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 it's an, it's an ex-co-worker. I used to okay. work in a call center, and he speaks uh, really good Portuguese, and he's learning Italian as well. Oh. He's a young boy like the, you. The Brazilian music is so good. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we have a, a a future trilingual here. That's amazing. It could be. <laughs> it could be. Why not? Right? Of course. Yeah. Hey, that's great. Hey, you know what? Talking about languages, guys, it's it's give us like a really a bridge. We're jumping to our homework. Remember? That yesterday we saw uh, passive without by. So tell me something, Milker. Portuguese is it spoken where? Uh, 
Portugal and Brazil. Only Brazil. Portugal and Brazil? Yeah. Any other place? Yeah. No? No. 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 Okay. Portuguese is the only one in mm -hmm. America. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about guys? Uh, English. Is a language spoken in Canada and USA. And what else? Only those. <gasps> What do you think, guys? Australia. Yeah. Australia, oh. yes. Australia. Belgium. Belgium. Kingdom. Oh, okay, yeah. Canada. Belgium. Belgium. Mm -hmm. United Kingdom, you said, okay. Or England, right? Yes, of course. Swiss. 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 Yeah, very good. Ireland. Sweden. Uh, yeah, Ireland as well. As well. It's uh, of the north part of uh, UK, right? Yeah, and uh, South maybe, Africa. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe Luxembourg too. Luxembourg too, yes. Yes, in most part of Africa, remember that there were like colonies, Britain colonies, but also France colonies. So they do speak uh, a, a, a variety of languages. What about Italian? Is a language spoken in which place? In which countries? Italy. Italy? Only Italy, don't Only, tell me. Yeah. Only Italy? <laughs> Oh, yeah. all right. What about um? What about French? Canada. Canada. Hey, but uh -huh. this, say, say the complete word, right? It's a language <laughs> spoken in. It's a spoken in, and then okay. practice yesterday's topic. Very good. Go ahead. I know the the other country, but I don't remember the name. Hi, do your uh, best. South Africa. Uh, I mean, South America. It's a spoken in South America. Are you the sure? Guyanas? The Guyana? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. It's a col it's a French colony, I think so. One of them, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another place? Another country? Uh French is spoken in in France, of course, right? France, right. <laughs> of course, right? You have the, the Eiffel Tower <laughs> there, right? Just in case. Like I was pointing like hey. the Eiffel Tower in English, La Tour Eiffel en Francais. Okay. Eiffel Tower, to Eiffel. Okay, very good. Okay, what else? What about Canada? They do speak French in Canada. They yeah. do. It's a Canadian French. It's totally different, guys. You cannot imagine. Oof. In Ontario. In Ontario. In, mm, in Ontario, not really, no. uh, Noemi, no. no, no in no. Ontario, the main one is English. Mm. Ah, okay. But there, for example, not another uh, provinces, they, they do speak French. That they do, do speak only French, or there are some provinces that they do speak the, both of them, English and French, oh, both yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. Depends on the province. Saskatchewan, they only speak French, only French. Okay, what, what else? What other countries speak French? Hey, you also mentioned something, Olguita. Belgium, they speak French there. Oh, really? In Belgium, oui, in Belgium. They speak French. It actually, remember, guys, that is the official language with, with Belgic. Mm -hmm. So remember, guys, do you remember the cartoon, Tintin y Milou? Do you remember that? No? That was a little, uh, a guy with a blonde hair that used to be a, a detective. And he had a partner. It was a schnauzer dog, white collar. No? No, don't you don't remember? No, no, I know that you remember, but I think it didn't come up the image here in your face. Okay, allow me one moment. Let me search for that information and then I'll let you know. Tintin and Milu. All right, Milu. There you go. I, I know that you know this guy. There you go. Okay, let me check. I think this one would be much better. Where is it? Where is it? An, an image that you should, uh, um, that you do not forget. Okay, this one. Maybe. There you go. Okay, let me share right now my screen and tell me, guys, if you do remember this, um, this cartoon. Can you see it, guys? No, yet. Uh huh. Let me just one moment. Let me know as soon as you're able to see it. Can you see it now? Yes. 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 Okay. In Do you remember newspaper. this cartoon? No. No. no? Yes, it's a newspaper. Yes. In newspaper. No. What about this one? Can you it's see a cartoon? Newspaper. Newspaper. 
No. 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 Oh, wait a minute. Not really. No. What about this one? So what you're looking right now is a newspaper. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. This is not what I want. Let me check. How do you say? What about this one? What about this one? Can you see it now? No. Just allow me one moment. Yes. Yes? I can no. see. I can see, but I, I don't know what is the cartoon. Ah. Yeah, you, me too. You don't know the girl? Okay. Uh, but have you seen the cartoon or no? Never. No. No, uh, never. Oh, my goodness. Really? There was a movie actually recently. Well, not this year. I think like uh, three years ago about that. Is It was a detective, a John detective. Basically, uh, Olguita, that is... Uh, the outer or the writer who creates that cartoon, it is for Belgic. It's a Belgian. Yeah, so that cartoon, mm. it, is, it is a Belgic cartoon. It's really nice. You see? Very good. Very good. So we're, we're practicing. So, oh guys, how do you say that in, in passive without by? No, with by. This is going to be with by. The cartoon name is... Tintin y Milú. And the person who uh, basically read, uh, wrote that, um, that cartoon was a Belgic one. So how you're going to, with this information that I'm giving you right now, how you can construct a sentence using passive with by. Tintin cartoon was created by. Tintin y Milú. Okay, uh -huh. Don't forget the dog. Tintin <laughs> Milu cartoon was created by, I don't know what is the name. What is created the by? Cartoon uh, name, Tintin uh -huh. Milu. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, was, uh, con was, uh, was written. Uh, was written. Oh, was by, created, yeah, by. But a Belgian. By but a Belgian person. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Because, because you don't know the name, right? You don't know the name of the person. Okay. I will okay. let you know it. Okay? I will send it to you the information who wrote it. But yes, it was actually that. You know what? Why I, why I know that? Because when I was learning French, as I was letting you uh, yesterday, guys, before, um, I, I need to learn that the culture of all the countries that they spoke French. So basically part of my um, learning process is that learning a lot of things, a lot of culture, cinema, uh, plays, uh, singers, musicians, etc. Monuments like this one, right? This one, etc. So that's really nice, you see? So that's why we're doing this because we need also to put in practice or our knowledge. Hey guys, so we have known something right now, okay? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Yeah, you're right. Okay, maybe on Monday, Amilcar, you should bring a Portuguese thing, right? I don't know, maybe. Olguita, maybe something, I don't know. And maybe Noemi, a uh, German, something, I don't know. No. No? I sure know. <laughs> you sure know? Mm, yes. I'm sure, yes. No. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a, mm, a beer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, maybe, maybe. Ah, you see? Salsa, 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 Yes. Okay. Who said yes? Amilcar, right? Ah, oh, thank you, Amilcar. You're so nice. So I know that you would like to uh, participate today, which is, is amazing, actually. <laughs> so can you please be so kind to start? We are bored and glad to hear you. So I have, I will have, I will not to say the name of no, the concert, right? No way, no way. Okay. Yes, no way. Okay. Um... Pass it without buy, remember? Without yes. it. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, listen okay. carefully, guys. It is located in South Africa, so mm. Paolo and Manaus are found in this gorgeous country. Uh -huh. Portuguese is spoken for many people. Mm -hmm. The Ria Hill is used in the country. Uh -huh. Crystal Redentor is found there and is one of the eight wonders of the world. Coffee and t shirts are exported for this beautiful country. Mm, I know it. I know already. Okay, did you guys understand what he has said, by the way? <laughs> or oh, he was yes. spoke really fast. 
A little bit fast. Uh, 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 okay, you don't mind, Amilka, if you like uh, speak a little bit slowly, but open a little bit your mouth. And you don't mind. Speak fast is the idea. I, I don't As, want to know, know the country. No, 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 no. Hey, don't be like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? Do something like if you're a guy tourist and you are explaining the situation to all of them, you see? So do it okay. like that with, with that tone of voice. Go ahead. Okay, uh, this is a country. Mm -hmm. It is located mm -hmm. in South Africa, in South America. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, ah, okay, so hey, okay. Yeah, guys, okay, scenario number two, action, go ahead, sir. I was thinking in South Africa. <laughs> I know, I don't know why, okay, but South Africa and South America, they're in a different continent, man. Yes. Yeah. That was the beginning of the letter. <laughs> okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, this country, it is located in South America. Mm-hmm. So, Paulo and Manaus are found in this gorgeous country. Mm -hmm. Portuguese is spoken for many people. The, um, the currency is used in all the country. Okay. Um, Christo Redentor is founder, and, it, and it's one of the eight wonders of the world. Ooh. Coffee and t shirts are exported for this beautiful country. Exactly, you're perfectly right. Okay, guys, ho so which country he's talking about? Brazil. Rio de Janeiro. Brazil, no Brazil. 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 Remember, Brazil. Brazil. We in English we uh, we write it uh, with Z as in zebra. Brazil. 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 Exactly, Ronald. Now I know that you're there. <laughs> All like right. Brasileiro. <laughs> you're Brasileiro, right? Very good. Okay, excellent. Great job, Milker. Who's the next victim? Sorry, next participant. Ronald. <laughs> hey, Ronald. You want to continue? Oh, Teacher, I, 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 did, I look didn't, at him. I, I didn't do my homework. You didn't do your homework, but you can, but you can, but you're a lawyer, so you can create yourself. Hey. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I don't have the, 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 the book, for example. Uh-huh. Okay, I will do something. I will give you a chance by Monday, okay? Okay. By Monday. Is he Ronald? Is he, you can you imagine? <laughs> Not yeah. Really. What a difference. You can see every single night, right? Oh yeah. my God! The man wearing a suit changes completely. Exactly. Hey, look at his watch! <laughs> wow, that's an iconic watch, by the way. A formal man. Oh, oh yes, oh, no, I know, a hundred percent, sir. <laughs> wow, he looks nice, right? And I love your hair, by the way. <laughs> And your mustache. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's continue. Thank you, Ronald. Mm, Noemi, what about you? Go ahead, girl. Okay, this country is located in South America, too. Okay, you like South America, I can see that. Yes, mm -hmm. and Cordoba, Rosario uh, are located in this country. Uh -huh. in National Park. Cordoba, Iguazú. Rosario is located or are located? Are located. Cordoba and country. Rosario, okay. Yes, Cordoba ah, okay, cool, Rosario. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, and National Park Iguazú. Ah, uh -huh. and, and National Park Huapi. Okay. And the Train to the Clouds, Cloud, mm -hmm. are located in this country. Mm -hmm. Espanol is spoken in Nacho. Nationwide. Espanol. Spanish. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> um, peso is used since June 1985. All right. And soy, soy a bean meat. Um, <laughs> soy a oil. Okay. I exported from this country into many others. Okay. Which country she's talking about, guys? I think it's Argentina, but I don't know. Is it Argentina? Yes. Hey, Danny, wow. You are so great with uh, with history, with geography, yeah. geography and everything else, right? That's amazing. Good, Danny, now that you answer, let's listen to you. Hush. Hush. <laughs> now it's your okay. turn. Go ahead. 
Okay, it's located between the Indian uh, Ocean and the Southern Pacific Ocean. Okay. There are a lot of cities, but the most famous are Sydney and Melbourne. Ah, okay. English and Mandarin are spoken more frequently in that country. Mm -hmm. And dollar is used in all the country. Mm -hmm. Sydney Opera is found in that country. Mm hmm I, I know. Okay, which country is she talking about, guys? Australia. Australia. Our English. Australia. Australia. <laughs> or Austria. No, no. Australia? Australia. Hey, Australia. <laughs> yeah. Australia. Is it is it correct, Johnny? <laughs> yes. Yay, it's very correct. good. Ex Australia. Australia, Espanol, Spanish, come on, <laughs> shame on you guys, <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you, okay, very good, Maria Quintanilla, thank you so much, sweetie, go ahead, like, what, <laughs> I told you, you gotta be prepared with me, okay, I'm, re I'm ready, I'm ready, I know you're ready, so come on, girl, <laughs> okay, this country are in South America too, are or is, is sorry, uh -huh. sorry. is located remember pass it without bar yes. is located okay good uh, the most important city is uh the capital uh -huh. and medellin city ah i knew it uh -huh. <laughs> colombia uh, shay wait Ana mercedes wait <laughs> <laughs> okay continue Maria. Okay. They speak Spanish okay. and the currency is used by pesos. Uh -huh. The tourist attraction is the beach and exporting coffee and music. Okay, and coffee and music. Very good. So yes. now, which country she's talking about? Now you can say it, guys. Come on. Okay, Colombia. Which Colombia. Colombia. <laughs> Woohoo. Very good. I love that. Colombia. You was like, yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Who's next? Olguita, go ahead, Olguita. <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to be prepared with me. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, girl. Okay. This country, it is located in Central America. Okay, finally, Central America. Okay. Between the Pacific uh, Ocean and Caribe, Caribbean, Caribbean Sea. Okay. Caribbean Sea. Mm, there are found found um, Masaya Masaya country uh -huh. uh, famous countries. Mm -hmm. There are found famous countries such as Masaya, Leon, Granada. Ah, I know. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, I have the, a friend who lived there actually. Uh -huh. They are uh, spoken Spanish. Okay. And there are recognized some regional languages. Okay. Such for example, as, for, uh, Garifuna, mm -hmm. and? Marie, Marie, Maricos, Maricos, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and and I don't remember the name. Misquito. <laughs> Misquito. Yes. Uh huh. And the currency are used. Are used or is for, used? Is used, uh -huh, sorry, Cordoba. Is used. Cordoba. Cordoba, okay. Cordoba. And Cordoba is the most, you can say, uh, currency used. Or is used by, you can say, is used for all okay. of the habitants, for example. Mm -hmm, that's okay. good. Mm -hmm. And they are sported in food. Food. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Seafood. Sorry. Seafood. Seafood. Yes. Sugar, it's really cheap there. Beef and coffee. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, great mm -hmm. coffee, by the way. Oh, great coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So, which country she's talking about, guys? Nicaragua. Yeah, Nicaragua. Ronald. Nicaragua. Yeah. When you mention Leon, like, oh my God, I have a friend who lives there actually. <laughs> yeah, they are marriage. She has. They have like sixteen of marriage, I think. Yes. They're, my, they're one of my closest friends, so that's great. Excellent. Yay! <laughs> Helen, let's listen to you. Helen Mercedes is like, what? That was my turn. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Okay. This country is located in Central America. Finally, another Central America. Good. 
Yes. <laughs> there is a city. Um, well, it is the most famous city. Mm -hmm. um, um, because of the touristic places like Santa Catalina Arc. Uh -huh. This country is also known for its chocolate makers. I knew They it. speak Spanish mm -hmm. and the currency is Quetzal. It is easy. noted for its very, very elaborate religion celebrations. Yes, exactly. Religious what? celebrations. What? Religious. Religious. Thank you. Uh -huh. so, wait, so, thank you. Mala. Guatemala, okay, yeah. everybody, Guatemala. 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 Oh, okay, Ana Mercedes, now that you would, would like to participate, <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn, my girl. Go ahead, do your um, best. Do remember um, uh -huh. and uh -huh. the uh, homework. Uh -huh. I no understand you may. Uh -huh. Okay, so you are safe. I, uh -huh. I um dial how do you say dialogue? You did a dialogue. 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 Um I really did the dialogue. Okay, do your best, of course. Um Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Hello. John. Oh, hello. I need some information. Mm -hmm. It located in Spain. Kelly, where? Spain. I see the Europe. John, what cities are from there? Mm -hmm. Kelly, I really have no idea. <laughs> John, what languages are spoken? Kelly, I see the Spanish. John, what, what currency is used? Mm -hmm. Kelly, I suppose the euro. Mm -hmm. John, what famous tourist attraction in Fonder? Uh -huh. Kelly, I don't know. <laughs> John, what products are sporting? Kelly, no, will I know? How would I know? Yeah. John, well, you are consulate of Spain. Kelly, what? This <laughs> Is a clinic laboratory. <laughs> you have a wrong number. Very good, excellent. You know what? We can we can also have a, like your dialogue to practice, maybe. Yeah. Okay. It's Keep a it. I not correct the uh, the homework. No, no, that's okay. You did a good. You know what I like it is that you use correctly, or you did an excellent use of the passive without by, because that was the purpose of the homework actually. So you did a really good job, Anita. Very Thank good you. job. That's why you give me double five. Woohoo! Excellent. Yay! Okay, don't worry. But that's good. Very good job. Okay, who else? Roxy, you see? Danny, she she says an applause. Very good. Malbid. Or Roxy. Roxy, Roxy. Okay, ladies first. Hi, Roxy. Can How are I, you? I, I can do my I can't do my homework. You can't. Or you couldn't? I couldn't. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. tell me the reason why. Because uh, uh, yesterday I, I couldn't ah, uh, come to the class. You couldn't be in class. Okay. Hey, and you're supposed to watch the videos if you cannot go to come to class, okay? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're going to give me the homework uh, on Monday, also Ronald, okay? Both of you. Okay. Okay, good. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, a question, teacher. Yes, Anita. Did, um, repeat. If you want to, you um, can do it. If you want to. Uh, the Monday? Yes, on Monday. That would be good. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Anita. Now it's time to listen <coughs> our a hey, our man that is wearing a hat with the same color of my of my one. <laughs> Mr. Melvin, how are you, sir? Ah, oh, you. you copy my my outfit, okay? Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's listen to you, sir. Go ahead. There you go. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, cool. Go ahead, Melvin. What do you have for us? 
Okay, it's located in South America. Oh, South America, another South America, okay. Spanish is spoken in this country. Mm -hmm. It's one of two countries with a beach in our continent. Oh, really? Okay. The currency Guarani is used in this country. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. The capital is Asuncion. I, I know the. Okay, which country is talking about, guys? Paraguay, Paraguay. Paraguay? Paraguay. Is it, is it Paraguay? Yeah. Paraguay yes. Yeah, Paraguay. Paraguay. Yeah, Paraguay. because it, Paraguay. 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 Yes. Okay. Paraguay. Yeah, Paraguay. Paraguay. Yes. It, it, you need to be careful if you say that to a Mexican, okay? Paraguay. That's in case. Okay. <laughs> and Anita's like... <laughs> She's like, oh my god, the teacher, she's, yeah, the teacher is crazy, you know that, right? Okay, very good, excellent. I like in, in Mexico, it is a uh, way, yes, I know, <laughs> way <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you can say that for a closer friend, okay? If you say that to a stranger, <laughs> that's not good, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, let's listen to Car Carlito Arevalo. Thank you, Melvin. Great job. Carlitos, Hi, how are Hi, you? Teacher. Let's listen Hi, to teacher. you. Okay. Uh, the people, uh, the people are famous in, mm -hmm. in the city to mm -hmm. eat pasta and pizza. Oh, okay. Uh, the city is located in Europe. Uh huh. And we found a lot of museums. Musicians. Muse museum in Florence and Milan. Florence and Milan, okay. And Milan, and they have a main Colosseum around the world. Okay. And a most famous canals. Uh huh. Um, they speak uh, Italian. Ah, yeah, I know. Amilcar already knows that by heart. <laughs> and okay. there are approximately uh, 64 native spoken languages. Really? 64? Yes. No, 64. City four, sorry. City four. Oh, yes. 34. 34. Like three 34. and four? Three and four? 34. Ah, uh, 54. 34, sorry. Uh, 34. 34, like three and four? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. And they exported, um, they, they, the, the product, the, mm -hmm. the, they, they don't export a lot of product, but mm -hmm. they export, um, Precision machinery. Uh huh. It's okay. like robots and mm -hmm. a component to create cars. Okay, very good. And they export also they export metal and clo clothing. Metal clothing. and clothing. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Amilcar, who is he talking about? Italy. Ah, is it Italy, by the way? Yeah, okay. yes. that was obvious when he mentioned Florence and Milan, right? Okay, <laughs> that was really good. Excellent job, guys. Congratulations. Okay, so now you can see the difference, right, between how we can use, uh, for example, the um, passive with dive. Remember that we use the simple pass, okay? Never forget that. In the simple pass, we created with the bird to be in the past, which is was and and Past participle. Past participle. No, wasn't where, right? Of course. And the past participle oh, yeah. of the verse. Very good. We use it, uh, the regular verse and the irregular verse. Now, the homework that you have made was related to passive without by. So in this case, without by, what is the bird tense that we use? Past or simple present? Simple present. Simple, simple present. Simple present. present. Very good. Which is this case, simple present is is, are, are uh, or am, um, right? Depends, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, in this case, it will be just is and are because we're talking about something else. And after that, do we use the past of the verbs or the past participle of the verbs? Past, past participle of the verbs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. As long as you have here in your mind that the passive with by is Simple past, a uh, passive verb to be in the past participle of the verse, and passive without by is a present of verb to be, of course, simple present, and the past participle of the verse, we are fine. Okay? So we're good. Just you have to have it in your mind. 
The first one we use simple past and without by, simple present. That's it. And in both guys, in both of them, we use the past participle of the verse. Never forget that. So in this case, what you gotta do is that you have two options. Or to study the verbs, or to study the verbs. Which one you prefer? I study the verbs. Study, study the, the verbs. Yeah, verse. there's no other choice. There's no other choice. You need to study them. Mm -hmm. And I know that there are a lot, but uh, hey, look at my earrings. <laughs> Have you seen it? Let me check. Ah. And a Tour Eiffel. A Tour Eiffel. A Tour Eiffel in French, the, the Eiffel Tower in English, okay? There you go, you see? Ha, I, you, I told you I'm going to be one country. The country that I love, the case is the, the Tour Eiffel, see? Okay, very yeah, did good. You, did, did you travel some uh, uh, to, to France? To France? I wish, I wish, but I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't because <laughs> of the quarantine, right, and everything. I couldn't. And um, well, but this this one, this is this is called Boinet. That is what you call Boinet, Boina, Boinet. Um, this is a, a French one, actually. Oh. Mm -hmm. A friend of my uh, husband, uh, he went to like a training in French. He's, he was part of sales department, and uh, I I told him please. Please, if you see a bonnet over there, you must buy it. You must buy it because I wanted to, right? So he bought it for me. Uh, I asked a red color, but this is like a wine color, I think. But hopefully I can get a, a black one so I can have both. But you know what? <laughs> this is really interesting <laughs> because actually he bought it. He bought it in France, in, uh, in Paris. But when you look here, it says made in China. <laughs> that's what that song made. Right? <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah, it was really interesting because actually he bought it there. This is actually, it comes from funds. Uh, but it says made in China. Like, oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> but that's okay, right? You see? We had to use another country to manufacture things, so that's good. <laughs> okay, guys, very good. If not practicing or speaking, now it's time to develop a different skill. We have developed the listening skill, we have developed the speaking skill, and we have developed the writing skill. Which skill is missing? Which skill is missing? Listening? Uh, no, 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 no. We have done that. We have done that. Okay. Uh -huh. Which skill is missing? Read. Exactly. Reading. Exactly. Reading or written. Okay. This one, guys, is uh, uh, it's not easy as it seems, right? Some of you know that we have to develop different part of reading skills. Okay. And today, guys, uh, each model, the article that we're going to analyze will be harder and harder. Okay. Because you need to increase your vocabulary. Hmm? That's why, in this case, we're going to do something different. So allow me one moment because I'm going to show you. This is going to be so much fun. You cannot imagine. This article is really, really interesting. And since you love history and places and monuments and something like that, right? Okay, this article, you will love it. And this time, guys, we're going to scan, to uh, learning how to scan. It's kind of like a quick view, right? That is one of the part, quick view, scanning. Like when you go to the supermarket and they pass the products to the scan machine, okay? Okay, and when you scan, you will have like an idea what is uh, the article about. And uh, we're going to learn new words for you and new phrases. And then we're going to analyze that. So you will have some more fun, you will see. Bear with me, allow me just a couple of minutes, let me Pop it up this. There you go. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I have it here. Where is it? Okay, this is here. Yes, all right. I just want to know, tell me if you are able to see my screen, please, because sometimes you have difficult with that. So I just want to make sure that you know it. Okay, guys, tell me if you're able to see it, please. And if you want me to make it uh, closer, I can do it. 
Yes, I see. Yes. Is it okay or would you like me to make a closer? Make a okay. closer. Closer, please. Uh, is that much better? Yes. yes. All right. So do me a favor. Take a look just for yourself to the title and take a look at the images and tell me something. Where do you think you can see very old objects, guys? A uh, working factory, by the way? Or a history cooking tools? I don't know. What do you think? Museum of gold. Museums, exactly. So basically, guys, this article, what do you think we're going to learn in this article? Any idea? History. Tradition. History, History. yeah. Tradition, know. yeah. Basically, guys, we're going to get into deeply because we cannot travel, right? Because of the quarantine and, of course, because of the money and everything to different countries. But we're going to learn some information about unusual museums. Maybe you have heard about them, maybe not. But if not, you will know that for the first time. Okay, so do me a favor. Who's going to participate? Mm -hmm. Amilcar, me. do me a favor. Uh-huh. Now I'm going to ask Amilcar and then you. Okay, don't worry about it. Amilcar, do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to read for me the paragraph that I highlighted right now? All the paragraph? Yes, only the one that is uh, with the red scratches. Okay. Have you been to the Louvre in Paris? Uh, ay, 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 ay. Okay, again, please. It's, because it it's, does. A, it's a long question. Okay, but it's okay, the pronunciation of the Louvre. Louvre, Louvre. L Louvre? Louvre. Louvre. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Have you been to the Louvre in Paris, the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, or any of those other must-see must museums? Well, now it's time to go off the beaten path. Okay, very good. Now, again, Amilcar, but de un solo. Yeah, without stopping, okay? Take a deep breath. Whew. There you go, sir. Okay. Have you been to the Louvre in Paris, the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, or any of those other must museums? Well, now it's time to go off the beaten path. Woohoo! Very good. <laughs> Time to go off the beaten path. Um, that means, guys, that is an expression that means to move on, see? ¿sí? Como salirse del, del camino trillado, yeah? So de, de, lo, de lo cotidiano, right? So it's time to, to, do, to, uh, to learn or something else, something interesting. Guys, we have different here. We have the Kimchi Museum in South, uh, South Korea. We have the Museum of Gold, and we have the Chocolate Museum. Mm, I think I love this one. Okay, very good. So, who can help me read it? Who said me, by the way? Who said me? Who said me? I, I cannot see you. Who said me? Roxana. Roxy. Okay, Roxy, do me a favor. Try to read for me the Kimchi Museum, please. Start reading, please, and I will let you know where you can stop. Go ahead. If you don't, if you don't know about the kim, kimchi, mm -hmm. a trip to kimchi museum in a in a eye eye opening experience. Mm -hmm. The museum was founded in 1986 mm -hmm. to highlight South Korea's rich kimchi culture. Mm -hmm. the okay, stop there, there, stop there, stop there. I know, I know. Hi, uh, hold your horses. <laughs> Very good, Roxy. Very good. Okay, continue reading, Danny. Okay. The exhibit includes display of cooking. Ure. I don't know how do you pronounce it. Do your best. Do your best. Uren skills uh -huh. and materials related to making, storing, and eating the famous piglet vegetables mm -hmm. is the tales about the history and nutritional benefits of South, South Korea. Korea most beloved shops to try various types uh, uh, most beloved side dish huh Korea mm -hmm. most okay. beloved side dish finally uh -huh. stopped by the souvenir uh -huh. Try to vary. 
try various types of kimchi. Okay, very good. Now do me a favor. You're going to read it once again, Danny and Roxy, okay? But I will help you right now with the pronunciation of some words, and then you're going to do it again, okay? And repeat after me, kimchi. Okay. Kimchi. Museum. Kimchi. Museum. Museum. Eye opening. Eye opening. Found it. Found, Found it. it. Exhibit. 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 Includes. Includes. Displays. Displays. Utensils. Utensils. Materials. 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 Storing. Material. Storing. Famous pickled Story. vegetables. Famous vegetables. Pickled vegetables. Mm -hmm. Must be loved side dish. Must be loved side dish. Yeah. Souvenir. Souvenir. Various type of kimchi. Various types of kimchi. Of kimchi. Okay, okay. Let's read it again. Start, Roxy. Go ahead. If you don't know about kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum is a eye-opening experience. Mm -hmm. The museum was founded in, <laughs> in 1986 to highlight South Korea rich Kimchi culture. Very good. Continue, Danny. The exhibit includes display of cooking utensils and materials related to making, storing, and eating the famous pickled vegetables. The museum is the museum also provides details about history and nutritional benefits of South Koreans. Oh. Most below side dish. Finally, stop by the souvenir shop to so, shop to try various type of kimchi. Almost perfect, Dani. Pero te equivocaste en unas cosas, oh. ¿verdad? So, yes. Vamos a tener que volver a leer. Okay. Entonces, hasta donde dice kimchi y te felicito por respetar los signos de puntuación. Pero en, es, en esta, donde dice, also provides details about the history and nutritional benefits of South Korea must be loved. This, este lo tienes que leer de un sol. Dele, otra vez. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. The, ex, the exhibit includes display of cooking utensils otra vez. and materials related. Ah! Otra the vez. exhibit includes. Okay. Exhibit. The exhibit. Exhibit. Mm -hmm. The exhibit includes displays of cooking utensils and materials related to making and storing and eating the famous pickled vegetables. Mm -hmm. The museum also provides details about history and nutritional benefit of South Korea's most beloved side dish. Mm -hmm. Finally, stop <laughs> by the souvenir shop to try various type of kimchi. Very good. Finally, you said, finally, I did. <laughs> Excellent job. You see, guys, now you read much better. Leyeron mejor. You read much better. Great intonation, great use of the punctuation. Also, you emphasize the words and you pronounce it correctly. Very good job, girls. Okay, next victim. Sorry, next uh, participants. Melvin, can you please start? The Museum of Gold, Bogota, Colombia. Very good. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the place. Mm -hmm. It holds one of South America's most stunning collections. Mm -hmm. Because the exhibits are sparkled so brightly, you can actually take photographs without using a flash on your camera. Not everything is made of gold, though. Huh. Among the exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper, now as tumbaga. Okay, very good, almost perfect. There are some words, right, that just we need to like, just relate a little bit. Stunning collections, this is one of them. Stunning collections. Exhibits. Sparkle, so brightly. Okay, this one, esta me la tienes que leer de un solo. Actually take photographs without using a flash on your camera. De un solo. Eh, not everything is made of gold. Eh, Pérez un gatito. Thought. 
among the exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items, or items, not items, items. Many of them are made from mixture of gold and copper known as tumba. Do it again, you can do it. Okay. If you want to see a beautiful object, the Museum of Gold is the place. It holds one of the America's most stunning collections because the exhibits sparkle of brightly. No, again. Hi, teacher. Because, because the exhibits sparkle so brightly. Uh -huh, very good. You can actually take photographs without using a flash on your camera. Mm -hmm. Not everything is made of gold. Talk. Among the exhibits are ancient, 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 ancient pre-Columbian items. Mm -hmm. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper, now as tumbaga. Very good. And last but not least, who loves chocolate, guys? Who loves chocolate? Uh, Carlitos, go ahead. You can start, please. And then Noemi. Okay. Uh, the chocolate museum. Uh, museum. Museum. The chocolate museum. Uh, the chocolate museum will text you everything about chocolate from cocoa bean to candy bar. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you learn about chocolate. Chocolates. Uh, chocolate. Uh, Plates. Chocolates. Chocolates. Mm -hmm. uh, three. 3,000 3, years history and discover how it was one use as money in South America. South America, okay, hasta ahí, vamos otra vez, vamos otra vez, desde el principio, okay. desde el The Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate from cocoa bean to candy bars. Okay. You learn about chocolates, 3,000 years history and discover how it was one use as money in such America. Almost perfect, except for this. You, you have to say that you'll learn about chocolate's 3000 year history and discover how it was once used as money in South America. Again, you can do it. Okay. The Chocolate Museum will teach you we'll teach everything. You. A, teach you a bra, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you the, can do it, go ahead. The Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate from cocoa bean to candy bars. Mm -hmm. You learn about chocolate's 3,000 years history and discover how it was once just as, just as money in South America. In South America. South America. Bravo, Carlitos. Very good job. Okay, next big team. Oh, no, sorry, Noemi, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. After you have finished the tour, you can sample a complimentary drink of fresh. I don't know mm. how to say gooey, 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 gooey oh, pure yes. chocolate, perfect <laughs> for those with a sweet tooth. tooth. Okay, again, yes, almost perfect, but this one, this part, this one, you have to say it in once because it's one sentence. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. Say it again, please. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. Very good, continue. After you have finished the tour, you can sample a complimentary drink of rich. We <laughs> Aha, okay, okay, I know, I know, I know it's really good, but do me a favor. Read uh -huh. from here to here. Remember, I know, eh, Noemi, that you know that this one is the contraction of have. I understand that. But if you, but remember, guys, that if you see a contraction, you need to pronounce it in a contraction way. So you said after you've you. finished. Okay, that's what I want to hear, Noemi. Go ahead. After you finish the tour. Very good. You after you sample. finish the tour. Okay, take you, a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Sample a complimentary drink of fresh, gooey, pure chocolate, perfect for those with a sweet tooth. 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 Hoy dímelo todo sin trabarte. I know you can yes, do it. And no, I, come on, God, no way. <laughs> Take a deep breath and do it. You can do it. 
A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate is made. Mm -hmm. After you you finish the tour, you can sample a complimentary drink of fridge. Good, poor chocolate, perfect for those with a sweet tooth. Very good. Excellent, you see? But perfect for those, okay? Those. Never those, forget the those, those, this one. Excellent those. job, guys, you see? Practice makes perfection. I told you that. Very good. What does mean this word? Gui, gui, gui. Gui, gui, pure chocolate. Como diluido? Como okay. líquido? En otras palabras, una okay. tacita de chocolate, right? Not like that. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Okay, guys. So, after you have read, aquí ya leyeron esto, right? Let's double check your comprehension. Okay? Su comprensión del article. That's really interesting, guys. Okay, we have, like, let me check how many phrases we have here. Let me check it out. Just this one. Okay. Okay, guys, we have six sentences. Who can help me read the um, direction? Let me check. Uh, Ronald, are you there? But anyway, Yes, teacher. Do me a favor. Can you please read the instructions for me for letter A, as in Apple? I can see the the you, all all the page. You cannot see it. Okay, bear with me. Is it move? No way, teacher. That's too big. Ooh. Okay. What about now? Is it much better? Um, Just the letter A. Just the letter A. Read yes. the read the article. We already did that. Okay. Uh, find the words it takes below in the article. Okay. Uh, then circles the meaning of each word or phrase. Very good. Okay, guys, we already wrote the article, right? Okay, so here, guys, we have some italics uh, words that we need to look into the article. And then when we find it, which paragraph this um, word is there, we need to come back and double check uh, which could be the exactly meaning of that. For example, let me check here. Okay, the first one, when you got off the beaten path, got off the beaten path. Okay, where can we find it? Let's go, let's go back, guys. Do let's go back. Something in something usual. Usual. Where is it? Yeah. In which paragraph? In no, which paragraph? Usual. The first one. The first one? You said the first. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, so which one do you think? Is do something unusual or go somewhere far away? Do something unusual. unusual. Are you sure? Yes. A hundred percent sure? Sure. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. Like water. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. All right. So, okay. So, this one. Okay. Okay. What about the second one? When something is founded, it is, what does it mean? Oh, it is a starter or discovered? Discovery. Discovered. 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 Are you right? Are you okay? Discovered. Okay. Okay. If you're yes. sure, go ahead. What about the next one? Number three, uh, Anita. Read for me the sentences, please, Anita. When something is stunning, mm -hmm. it is extremely, extremely attractive. Uh huh. Attractive or large? Which one do you think, Anita? Attractive. Attractive. Yay! Yes. Are, are you agree with Anita, guys? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What about number four, Amilcar? Uh, when something is ancient, it is very old or common. And okay. What very, do you think? Very old. Very old. Very, old. very, old. very old. good. What about number five? Uh, who can help me read it? Uh, Maria? Quintanilla. <laughs> Maria Quintanilla first. <laughs> okay. When something is complementary, mm -hmm. it is free of change or very expensive. Aha, uh -huh. what do you think, guys? Free of charge. Free of charge. Free of charge. Free of charge. Okay. And the last one, the other Maria, please. 
<laughs> is Dollar Maria here? No, right? Yes. What about Helen? Go ahead, Helen. When something is gooey, gooey, it is gooey. like a refreshing, thick, yes. and sticky. sticky. What do you think, guys? That was related to chocolate. What do you think? Uh huh. Yes, because the chocolate is like that, right? It's pegajoso. <laughs> All right, very good. Excellent. Not too bad. Okay, now do me a favor. Because we're still having three minutes, guys. Three minutes. We're practicing reading comprehension right now. Okay, let me double check something. Let me erase this. And then we can move on to part V. Hey, great job, guys. You see, you are learning something different. You're learning a new word, actually, right now. Now you will never forget do gooey, right, Noemi? No. You will never forget gooey one. Okay, let me go ahead and click on this. Okay, guys, what about this one? Where do these sentences belong? Write the number of the paragraph where each sentence could go. Okay, guys, these sentences from A, B, C, and D, they are not part of the article. They are not. However, if, for example, you are the one who writing the article, you need to think, guys, where you're going to insert that idea. In paragraph one, in paragraph two, three, or four. Where? The first one, don't forget to buy your favorite kind to bring home for dinner. What do you think, one? Which paragraph? Number one. Number one, are you sure? Don't it's forget easy. to buy your favorite kind to bring home for dinner. Do you think it's number one? Ah, uh, no, number I'm just three. Just asking you. Yes. Number two. Three. No, three. Three. The number one because it's just speaking about food. Exactly. Uh huh. Teacher, you're you're confusing us. No, I'm not confusing you. I just wanted to know if you are sure about what you're saying. By the number three is maybe to a chocolate too. Uh, maybe it's a possibility, but kimchi is also a, a, a food. Yeah. Uh huh. So you it could be go number one and number two and number three, right? No, number four. Sorry. No. Number one or number four? Which one you consider? Let's put it number one and number four. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next one. Did you know that it wasn't popular in Europe until the 19th century? What do you think? Number three, number two, number one, number four. Which paragraph, guys? Hmm? Come on. What do you think? Any idea? Mm -hmm. No idea, guys? Uh, uh huh. What about number three? The museum also features coins, jewelry, and pieces of number rare two. art. Number two. Ah, that's easy, right? Uh huh. What about the last one? There are some museums that try to be a little different. Number one. Number one. Yeah. Hey, what happened with letter B? It was number one. Number one. Mm, are you sure? <laughs> Maybe number three. Maybe number three. Yes, exactly. That might be. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe number four, right? Ah, uh, yes. The 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 last paragraph. The last one. We exactly. Guys, tell me which of the of these museums would you like to visit and why? Which of them? Which one would you like to visit? It might be like chocolate. To... Uh, the, the chocolate. The chocolate. Yeah. yeah. And the kimchi. The kimchi is really nice. Yeah. Because yeah, different. I would like to taste the food. Yes, me too. But kimchi, I think kimchi is a little bit spicy. I think so. Oh. oh mm. It's like right. I would like to, <laughs> I would like to visit Colombia because you can visit the museum and you can see women as well. Uh -huh. I think it's because of the second reason, sir. But you should, you, should, you should ask your girlfriend about that, right? Or maybe she can join you. I say that because I am in the office. Uh-huh, yeah, I know, because if you were at home... Hmm, uh, teacher, um, teacher, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, 
I, I don't know how to say in English this, this, this word, but when you go to Colombia, the, the, the men go to mm -hmm. Colombia and they marry with a woman in Colombia, the government require, request to the men to come to, to do the military service. Really? It's a, yes, it's a, a mandatory? Yes, it's a mandatory. I know uh, my uh, friend from my family work mm -hmm. to travel to Colombia and marry with a, a, a woman in Colombia, and he did the, the military the, service. The service. Yes. Oh, so Ronald, you better think it twice, not twice, thrice, just in case, <laughs> right? For future reference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, it was nice to have you once again in class. Uh, I think I, I enjoyed it. I don't know about you, but I enjoyed it, this class a lot because we were laughing, discussing, speaking, reading. So that's really good, guys. Excellent job in your homework. And we're going to spend uh, Anita, uh, Danny, and Mr. Ronald, right? Homework for next Monday. Uh huh. And then we need to guess which country they are talking about, by the way. Okay, guys, be safe, please. Take care of yourself and your family because I want to see you on Monday, okay? I'm going to be a nice teacher. There's no homework for Monday. Yeah! Isn't it amazing? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I will send you some information that you might teacher. take it as a practice, okay? Yes, Ronald? Teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, Monday uh... is your day off. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> ah, yes. Day off? Yeah. Really? To November 2. Uh, well, for you, but for me, no. I still work, okay? We're going to figure it out about it. Okay? Let me send a message to my boss and then I will let you know, okay? Or they will let you know, okay? But as far as okay. I know, we're going to have class. As okay. far as I know. Aha, uh -huh, Rona. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night.